Welcome back, welcome back to the channel. Just thought I'd do a quick video of the stuff I get up to behind the scenes of what you see on film. Obviously, a lot of what you see, items are already pre-painted, pre-finished. I mean, sometimes I do show painting. But there's a lot of prep work, as many of you will know, to actually get things up to standards. I tinker around, I potter, you know, sometimes I come out and I don't feel like filming so I'll, I'll literally just pick something and do something to it. I might spend five, six hours just polishing or cleaning up parts. So in between the projects and jobs that I've got going on at the moment, sometimes I just take time out just to just to chill really uh, and not worry about the process of having a camera running but uh, I thought I'd let you have a glimpse of the stuff I get up to. I say I've still got the Triumph on, got ongoing, I've got the Z650 ongoing, there's always little jobs that are cropping up. Sometimes I like to deviate away and do something completely different. So I've actually bought out a couple of bits that on the Z1170 project, which as many of you know is a Z1000J uh, 1982 engine, which is obviously sitting behind me. That you've seen that all stripped down, painted up. I say it's still in mock-up. There's nothing inside it still. But like a lot of the cases, they they need attention. They're old. I try and save as much money as where possible by trying to refurb the parts I've already got because to buy them now it's they're hard to find in good condition and if they are they're expensive. So let me show you a couple of bits that I say what I get up to. I mean obviously dotted round the garage are all various projects and bits to do and things I pick up off eBay but I really really shouldn't. So I've got the tank that I thought about for the actual Z project. Again, swing arm that I bought in, GSX-1400. The VFR 750 swing arm that I polished up. So that could do with actually a clean, but... But there is just a multitude of, that's a Honda Hawk swing arm, again I've thought about that for it. Numerous wheels dotted round which I really need to start clearing out. SRAD swing arm that I bought in for a project, polished and then just left it so that will probably be cleaned up and sold on eBay. Just had a delivery, finally found a top yoke for the XUP RU front end which will be going on the 1170 project so I've just mocked up. It actually in situ with the uh, Mocked up some handlebar clamps, small set of bars just to see how it would look. Again, this is all got to be completely stripped down, which we will be covering in normal videos. The forks do leak, they need attention. I'm going to end up probably painting them. Finally bought a shelving rack. If I can stick the helmets on it. But I just seem to accumulate so much stuff and I will start to actually clear it out. I mean, everything's hidden. That's the actual hubs for the uh, single-sided swing arms. Again, they'll be finished up. We'll probably cover that in videos and I'll more than likely sell them. Obviously still got the Z650 stuff that I've got to put that through. 
strip that down again, put it through the ultrasonic cleaner. But I've actually started working on the generator case just to see if I can save it. I mean, I've actually spent some time on this. It actually was, believe it or not, a little bit worse than what it is now. Let's say everything I do, do by hand, so it's just... I'm actually down to 40 grit at the moment to try and bring these scratches out. That one's almost gone, but there's a deep one there. And try and keep the shape. So there's a groove in there. So obviously this engine, before I got it, had gone down. So again, it is just working through just grades until I can get it up to something like that that one was in the same condition it had scrape marks on it but that came out really well but all the bits are done by hand and it takes as anybody knows takes absolutely hours I say we will be covering bits of the uh, of the Z build. I say it is my own private project. I'll just do it as and when. So any time I've got spare time, I say I've toyed with different ideas of different swing arms, whether to go single sided, whether to go twin shock. What sh what actual swing arm I actually want in it. That one was bought as a project, which is a Davida swing arm. As you can see, it's in a right state. It's got damage to it, which needs to be sorted and re-welded, then painted. And again, I've got all the um, rear eccentrics and the, the actual spindle but that will probably be refurbed and sold off. I've actually got, believe it or not, I know I shouldn't keep buying, but I've got another swing arm hopefully arriving later on today. So if, if it arrives in time, I'll, uh, I'll show you what I'm going for. I'm going for something totally outside the box and see if it works. I've done the measuring. It will need a bit of fettling and trimming to actually get it to fit because obviously that's a a 235 but well, say this bike is going to be totally butchered it's not going to be a purist build it's just my piece of fun but obviously the original engine just getting that up to wherever I can I've still got a bit more polishing to do on it So, for now, let's say, I'm going to crack on with this. It is just literally just rubbing it down, keeping the actual curves. Just smoothing around and actually trying to bring these scratches out in a nice even I mean obviously I don't want to take too much off and if these are too far down I say because that is quite a deep gouge take too much off then there's just not enough metal but I'll do a bit more as I say, as I say that's all I ever do in here is is just potter around use the bench grinder quite a lot and say the ultrasonic cleaner which is tucked behind that pile of mess that will come out later on and so and I'll be breaking down obviously the Z650 carbs the music goes on and I say I just potter around to say I've got bits of bikes that things I've picked up for projects 
that's the ZX9R uh, top yoke, bottom yoke. Again, that will be cleaned up and probably resold. I will be clearing out because I have, I say, there's so much stuff in here. All them drawers are full. All the trays there, obviously, full. There's more stuff behind here. That's mostly uh, the Z Thou engine. And then just storage for where I keep my welder parts washer, which I find invaluable. <clears throat> Still got the Varadero to come back. I'm doing a bit more on it. Uh, It'll pop over there in the next couple of days. Do a bit more on that. Battery's charging up. I've actually seemed to have worked out, I think, it's the actual CDI brain unit that's gone on it, so I've picked up a second hand one. But no, I will start to actually have a clear up, have a clear out, because there's lots in the roof as well. get all that down but I'm going to crack on get a bit more of this done I'll bring you back at a later stage I say I'm not going to I say bore you with this, how long it actually takes I'll just bring you back at random intervals hopefully if the swing arm turns up I can then show you the swing arm But no, I say I just I just take one piece at a time and just I say that I mean it does take time uh, to give you an idea. The VFR swing arm that you saw earlier that was polished that was about fifty hours prepping, polishing, cleaning, sorting, uh, and you know it, it, it does take a long time. Same with these cases, hours and hours spent on the cases to bring them up. I did used to use. You can actually buy like the scouring pad wheels. You can get them on eBay. They are they're not badly priced, but for what they are and how long they last, they just disintegrate totally. So I tend to actually dig some out. I tend to actually buy packs, which actually works out cheaper. I can either cut them down for hand size. Or I can actually, as I have done in the past, actually cut out whatever thickness I need. And so normally out of that I can get quite a few. If I'm just using doubles or triples, I can probably get three, maybe four. And that's actually cheaper than buying the wheels. Again, got the different grades. So the green and the red. But... Uh, Always a good idea. So I say that's just a, a quick peek behind what I actually get up to. I say like most people in their garage, I just sort of come out, put the music on, put the heater on if it's a bit chilly, pick a pick an item to do, and just crack on with it. I, I normally divert to different things at different times. So as I said, hopefully I should have a swing arm turning up. I'm going to be out here for the rest of the day. I'll show you the swing arm and I'll also show you the generator case when I've got a bit further. All right, brought you back after some time. But as you can see, the damage from there, I managed to get out. I've still got a bit more to go. And the center to do. So it's still keeping the actual shape. Let's say that damage there has come out. Scratches have found a few more up around here. So I've still got to do the top. And this ridge around here, keeping the shape again. Let's say that is that's all that's left on that edge now, compared to what it was before. 
So I'll crack on with a bit more. As I say, it is this literally going through the grades. I'm on 40, down to 40 grit at the moment just to bring these deep scratches out. And then it will be coming up through the grades, 60, 80, 100, etc. Until you get up to sort of like uh, 1000, 1200, 1500 grit. I will actually use the scourers at one point. But that's what keeps me occupied behind the scenes of, you know, getting things ready. So that, like I showed you earlier, you see the finished or near finished article. I'll crack on with a bit more of this and so I'll bring you back a bit later when hopefully this is, well, you can't actually see it. And then I'll start working on the centre. So that's after all the sanding and that's down to a 240 grit as you can see what we started off with as you remember all the deep gouges across the centre around the edge so here's a photo of before and so this is where I'm up to yeah I mean obviously there's still a long way to go on this but so there is a few bits to go over again but that gives you an idea of all the stuff I get up to I say most of it is is prepping parts trying to recoup and, and save these parts because I say these are quite expensive if you can find them in any good condition So as I say, that's only up to 240 so far, so I've got a long way to go. That will probably go up to probably about 1500. And we'll hopefully end up looking like that. But there's hours more work to go yet. But happy with how that's come out. It is, it's keeping the shape. Trying not to take too much off, so there's a little bit still in there. Bit more cleaning in the corners. I'm trying to keep the shape of it will not take too much off. So the other thing I can move on to as well, so I've just put the cover back under there for now. Ultrasonic cleaner. I did feature this, well this has been featured in quite a lot of videos. It's up to temperature. So I'm going to start putting things in. Only thing is with that it is the noise can't run the camera while that's actually on so that can go in in a second but the exciting one is my parcels finally turned up I so say I've got plenty of swing arms that I've tried for the said sale I did think a single sided that one unfortunately won't fit it's too wide the hawk one will fit and fits in perfectly or it was a case of going for like a twin shock so the other option I had was the SRAD that would need some trimming but I just wanted something a little bit different I say I'm still gonna have to probably trim if the measurements are right I've got a 235 gap in there and the swing arm in there is a 242 but I will double check it when it comes out so I'm gonna to have to trim a three and a half mil so I'm not taking it out of the frame it will hopefully come off the swing arm 
But let me get set up and uh, we'll have a look at uh, what I've gone for. Hopefully it'll work. came from motorcycle recycle on eBay I've used them many many times before and here it is it's actually off a 2012 to 16 ER6 I just like the actual style and shape as a swing arm. And the price is extremely good. So let me uh, get a tape out and we'll have a measure. That's the swing arm. I did like the actual curves in it. Right, let's run that along. Well, without these bushes, you're actually looking 240. There's another one that side. So actually looking about 238 so that should be possible yeah this is going to be the interesting one side mounted shock mount but I thought that might look a bit uh, a bit cool Let me know what you think. I mean, size wise, it works. Rear tyre, I've already looked at ER6s, it's a 160 60, which is, which is fine. I don't want anything too massive in the back. I mean, obviously, a 180 55 ain't going to fit. But no. 160 that'll be a good size compared to the original but uh, I've never seen this done and I like to try and be different because I mean yeah there's all different types of twin shock vari variances around single sided say so I have two but uh, Again, I think uh, I think it was Frank. Sometimes it's been done to death, and everybody does it. I mean, obviously, the obvious choice would have been as uh, ZRX eleven or twelve hundred, but again, everybody uses them. I mean, some stuff you you can't help. You you need to go with the sort of the norm, so to say. I mean, I've got another tank, so we're going to try and play with that. But again, that will come up in a future episode when I've got a bit more space and it would just be a spare time sort of play around. But then I could look at, get the frame down and actually have a look and see how this looks. So that will mean stripping this down It's got sleeves in it, so they'll have to be trimmed. Yeah, there's one there. You can see the other one there. So they can come out. 
they can be shaved down. But no, so without without that, which actually should come out. Yep, it's just a cap. Sleeve, trim that down. Right, that one seems to be a bit stuck. Right, now let's try again. I'm reading 238 on that. So that's only three mil, so one and a half mil off each end. I'll see, machine knees down. But yeah, the interesting one's going to be the uh, the shock, and then looking at how that's going to fit. And can I actually mount it to the frame? I mean, the frame's going to have to be braced anyway. Because obviously with the... Well, basically the 1000cc engine that was original is now gone up. To, it has now gone out to an 1170. So that's going to put a lot more stress on the frame. Go with the X up front end. And hopefully the ER6 back end. I mean, I may change my mind on the X up forks. I only bought them because they were really, really cheap. They need to be stripped. Again, ZX9R forks would have been the ultimate, but but no. So we'll we'll revisit this in a later episode. And I'll get back to the ultrasonic. Well, I hope you enjoyed my you know, little look behind the scenes of what I get up to, how I recondition parts, etc. I say there's always something going on, whether I'm filming or whether I'm not. There's, there's I say, there's stuff going on. Uh, ultrasonic cleaner will be going on in a second. Let me know what you think about the ER6 in a thousand J frame. If anybody's done it, let me know, but I don't I haven't seen anybody that's done it. It does have a little bit of damage on it, needs a bit of modification, but I reckon it will it will actually look pretty good. I say a later episode we'll actually pull the frame down when I've got a bit more space and we'll go for a we'll go for a play fit, have a look at bodywork, front ends, etc. Any comments in the comments box below, you know I appreciate all your feedback, all your comments. So don't forget to like, subscribe hit the bell notification so you'll be notified of any future videos. The channel is growing, I am a small channel, the support I've got is phenomenal and it just keeps growing daily. Check out the playlists, there's plenty of playlists to go through, there's the Hayabusa, there's S650, obviously the Triumph, there's ST, Mini Moto, Veradero, the uh, Z1000, so there's quite a lot of playlists in there of you know and trips and adventures and all, all all sorts motorcycle related. I obviously have now brought back the shop chat, which can be on a multitude of topics. We've covered uh, motorcycle forums, tools, anything motorcycle related. You say anything that you feel should be on the channel. Let me know. You can either pop across to my Facebook page, there's a link in the description, message me. Um, you can get my actual contact email on YouTube or leave a comment in the comments box below, whichever you feel comfortable doing. You can private message me on Facebook as well. Again, link in the description to my Facebook page. But yeah, I, I feel, as I say, this year I'm going to try and do as much as I can there's a lot of clearing out to do in this garage. I need to really sort of like scale back on the amount of stuff, as I call it. I won't tell you what my wife calls it. 
and just try and get rid of some parts. So as you've seen, some of the swing arms, well, all, most of the swing arms will go and just try and cut back. So I'll let people know when the items are going on eBay. I'll also let people know on Facebook as well. There are links to other videos at the end of the video. And as usual, appreciate your support. Thanks for watching. Join me again next time. Cheers. Bye.